Hello world, Shelly here and it's time for another episode of Foundation Fest and today I am checking out From Galway, Ireland. I picked this up at Boots. It is a number seven foundation that I don't believe we can get in the States. This is the Hydroluminous Moisturizing Foundation SPF 15. Retails for €18.95. Euro. That's about $21 US dollars at the current exchange rate as I'm filming this. And I'm not sure why we can't get this in the U.S. because there are some other hydroluminous products, including a skin tint that is available back home. But the SPF in this is a combo physical mineral sunscreen um, with ingredients that are approved in the U.S. So I'm not sure why we can't get this here, but a bunch of beauty YouTubers across the pond tout this as one of their holy grails and so I figured I'd pick it up because Boots is still three three for two on the number seven goodies so uh, I've been shopping I've been shopping so I got this in shade cool vanilla comes in 19 different shades let's take a look at this one swatched against the couple that I have with me here on my trip Swatch time. First up is today's foundation from number seven, the Hydra Luminous Moisturizing Foundation in shade Cool Vanilla. Second, I've got from Tower 28, the Sunny Days Tinted Sunscreen in 15 Melrose. And last, I've got the Guerlain Terracotta La Tint in shade 2C. I've already cleansed, moisturized, and sunscreened this 48-year-old face. I have primed with my handmade Bakuchiol cream, which you can get through my handmade company, QCSoap.com. My business partner is working on a restock as we speak. So as soon as I get home and we reopen the shop after our summer break, we will have it ready to go. Let's take a look at consistency on this one. I don't have my cute little palette with me, so we just have to use the back of my hand. And, yeah, nice little consistent drip there. I've got a sponge for one side of my face, e.l.f. Ultimate Beauty Blending blah, 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 brush for the other side. We'll see if there is a preference one way or the other. They say you can apply this any which way, brush, sponge, fingertips you know but it's medium coverage so i'm gonna go in with the traditional sponge and brush and we will see if it performs better one way or the other this is supposed to get us to medium coverage which i would expect that will likely be more true on the brush side but let's see where we're at so i've got my mirror right over here we are getting a, a good amount of light coverage, I would say, with the sponge. A little bit of coverage of my sunspots here and a little bit of redness correction. But you know me, I like a good medium coverage. So I'm going to go in and we're just going to assume that we're going to put the rest of this over here. So I'm going to go in with the brush. Now, this does have some skincare in it. It's Vitamin A, vitamin C, vitamin E. So you've got your antioxidants. You've got a little bit of, um, you know, reduction of discoloration and that kind of goodness. There's a couple root extracts in here, but it is fragrance free and it is essential oil free. So if you're sensitive to those things, good news, they're not in here. Number seven is usually pretty good about having a clean ingredient deck. Plus, especially the ones you get over, over the pond here, all adhere to the EU regulations, which are much more strict than the US regulations. I would say, yeah, you do get some additional coverage by using the brush with this one. I'm gonna put just a little bit more on the back of my hand here to even out the coverage on this side of my face because I do like some coverage y'all you know me I know I get the comments all the time you don't you don't need foundation your skin's so good yeah uh, I have sun damage I have freckles I was teased mercilessly as a child for my freckles and for my face turning red whenever anything happens whenever I'm embarrassed, whenever I'm laughing, whenever I'm walking, when I'm exercising, well, you name it, my face, especially my nose, Rudolph, thank you, 
uh, nose gets red. So yeah, I wear foundation because I like to hide all that because it's traumatic. And uh, I don't want to go back to being that age ever, ever again. <laughs> kids are terrible. They're mean. Uh, you know, some kids are nice, but I'm going to cover the discoloration that I got on my neck down here. My little friend, thank you for the blemishes from arriving in a new country and my skin always has trouble adapting to different water. I don't know why. I think I'm gonna take just a smidge and use it as concealer because I'm liking the texture of this one. It feels nice and emollient. Going through the ingredients, they do have quite a good number of hydrating and moisturizing ingredients in this foundation and that's good because they claim to be hydrating so so i was glad to see that there were ingredients to back up that claim but i love me a good hydrating foundation and i love being able to skip concealer because efficiency all right let's let's pull the mirror up close i don't have my 10x with me so I have to live with this one. I like this shade. This is a nice one. I like this coverage. Yeah, this is medium coverage for sure. Yeah, we're definitely getting medium coverage. Yes, yes, please. Yes, girl. I should probably put some on this side of my neck too, but I didn't. I'll do that later. We'll worry about that later. We're, we're getting, a, getting ahead of ourselves here. I do look like I haven't slept in a while. <laughs> this trip is, I've gained some gray hairs on this trip. Let's just, let's just leave it at that. But, uh, I am liking the finish of this one. It is, I would call this a satin matte. You know, there's a little bit of reflect. Yeah, I got a window to my side over here and I've got a tiny little ring light that basically is illuminating my boobs. But, uh, <laughs> really interesting tripod setup. And it's probably why it was at, uh, I think it was at Poundland here, the, the dollar store equivalent, but I find this to be looking nice and smoothing on texture, uh, especially the non-textured side of my face looks beautiful. The coverage on, I have a spot of something on my chin, what is it? I don't know. The blurring of pores is looking quite nice. My worst of my pores is like right around that area of the sides of my cheeks and they're quite minimal can't really see them very much texture is looking minimized as well i'd call it a satin matte finish see my nose is getting red because i'm talking like whenever i talk my nose turns red like this is why i wear foundation just it's not because my skin's a mess it's because of all the things my skin does i have very reactive skin yeah, I'm okay with this. We're starting out in a good place. I'm all right with this. Let's check the time. It's 11.56. I'm going to call it noon in my head so I don't forget. Let me go put the rest of my face on. I will be right back. Back with the number seven moisturizing foundation, Hydra Luminous. So far, so good. No complaints. I actually very much enjoy the finish of this. I really like the smoothing that it's doing. It's looking beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. No surprises. Heat Wave Bronzer, Lawless Watermelon Blush, the now discontinued but back in my list of favorites, beloveds, Laura Geller's Diamond Dust Highlights. My eyes are ColourPop Aurora Struck, and of course, a little bit of the Profusion Bling It On. Get these while you can. They're getting harder to find online. They're sold out at my CVS now. And uh, I got all the colors. I use them as glitter toppers, as eyeshadow. They're technically an eyeliner, like a glitter eyeliner, but absolutely love them. I'm totally obsessed. And I do not throw that word around. You know, I don't say that word so much. Totally obsessed with these things. Brows are the Lawless Soft Set Brow Gel and the Arches and Halos Pencil in Espresso and the Anastasia Brow Freeze. So... Normally I do my brows every day at home, but here I make my decision about my brows based on whether or not I anticipate getting stuck in the rain. And I'm pretty sure that today the rain gods are going to laugh upon me because I did do my brows today. I got totally soaked yesterday, so I'm gambling that I will not get totally soaked today. But let me tell you, umbrellas are no match for rain that can float just saying. 
but I love it. The sun is trying to kill me, so I'm here for the rain. I'm all, I'm, that's totally fine. Bring it, Ireland. I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. My lip is Color Street Tinted Lip Balm for the hydration and the Jones Road Lip Tint in, oh, I looked at the color before I turned this on because I can't see a doggone thing, you guys, and I don't have my, I don't have Sherlock with me to look and see. What does that say? Just Pinky. Jones Road, Just Pinky. Pinky. All right, that's what's happening. That's what's on this on this mug. I'm gonna go about my day. <laughs> Not gonna get a sandwich today. I don't know what I'm gonna get today. Actually, I'm gonna go out and get my food because this is. I don't usually eat breakfast, so like I film when I'm getting ready in the morning, and then this is like the first thing I do going out into the world is have my lunch, and so I don't know what I'm gonna have today. I don't know. I don't know. I haven't decided. Haven't decided. But I will come back with a daylight check-in in a bit. And I will come back tonight give you guys my final thoughts. It is almost five o'clock here, and so that puts us around five hours. Pretty sure I just spent the last couple of those hours walking around with a big old spot of ketchup on my face, in which time I spoke with quite a few people, none of which who told me I had ketchup on my face. So, uh, there's that. <laughs> Looking a little tiny bit dry here, but overall, I'm really impressed with how this one is holding up. I did have to blow my nose, you can barely tell. I am peeling a little bit around here and on my chin, and you can barely tell. So this one is very forgiving, I would say, with all of those things. Let me step into the sun here, because we have a sunny day. Cannot open my eyes, but this one looks good even in the sun. It looks very smooth. I mean, come on. Yeah. I'm pleased. I'm pleased. Looking good so far. I'll be back tonight with no ketchup. 8.27 p.m. Let's take a look at how the number seven Hydra Luminous Foundation held up. You guys, this stuff looks fresh. Like about an hour ago, I got a good look in the mirror and I was like, this looks like I just put it on. It hasn't changed a bit. And I've been out and about. I got a little sweaty walking around when the sun came out and it still looks wonderful. We're past the eight hour mark at this point. We're eight and a half, eight and a half ish. I've blown my nose a couple of times. Like I started peeling in the middle of the day. Still can't tell. Like, okay, okay. Let me get up close and see how I can get you guys in here, show you what's happening, which is basically nothing. There's no settling in the lines. It's not caking up. It's not moving around. You know, uh, what can I say? I'm kind of dumbfounded. Okay, I got, got the mirror here. I'm gonna give myself like as close up of a look as I can. It is still super smoothing. No, it hasn't settled anywhere. It hasn't moved. Not even down here. Like, all right, I see why people are calling it their holy grail. This is, this is a nice one. It's a very, very, very nice one. My personal preference, I would like a little more of a dewy finish, but that's not a critique of the foundation. It's just a personal preference, and this one isn't that. So that's not going to impact its grade in any way. Uh, yeah, I like it. I like it a lot. <laughs> it's really nice. If I had to give a grade to the number seven hydroluminous, doggone, I wish we could get it in the U.S. I gotta give it an A. I like it. It wears wonderfully. I mean, what the heck? I mean, at one point, my forehead was sweating, and I, I blotted my forehead with a 
napkin and uh, still can't tell. I mean, it still looks great. It looks great. All right. I love number seven. I love number seven. I love boots. <sighs> I was meant to live near a boots. I really was. I think so. Can, can we make that happen? Can we make that happen, please? Please and thank you. <laughs> there you have it. Another episode of Foundation Fest from Galway is in the books. If you like Foundation Reviews, if you had fun with this one, give me a thumbs up down below. Please subscribe if you haven't already. I can't believe it. I just finished posting. This is the first Ireland trip where I've got every single week, three videos a week going up. I just finished. This is actually pushing me into the week after I get home. So, ah, it's so good. I might be able to take a break. By the time you see this, I think I will be home, but it's all good. Loving it, loving it, loving it. As always, thanks a lot for taking some time out of your day to geek out over makeup with me. I appreciate your time and I hope you guys all have an awesome day or night wherever you are in the world. Take care of each other. Bye-bye.